The JMSC really helped launch my career, which I'm very thankful for. And um, I've been, I'm proud to say that some of my work have also been honored with awards in the last few years. From the selfie stick to a camera in the middle of my living room, I would say one of the most important things I've learned as a journalist is be resourceful and be open to new technology. But uh, I'll pan around a little bit. This is my living room and yes, I can and I do report in my slippers. So I film with my cameraman, I come back, I log the tapes, I write the script and I edit the, the show with a tape editor and then I do my voiceover, I do my stand upper, I do everything uh, for this 30 minute show. It's a big challenge for me. Versatility is such a great thing to have. Going forward in my career at the United Nations, that's going to be so helpful. If ever I'm going to be in the field and help the UN with their reporting from the field, if you will, I will be able to do all of that by myself and carry that burden by myself. But because we are such a small team, everyone is doing many things. For example, I'm a producer here, but I'm also expected to film and edit, write news blogs, and produce radios. All these skills I learned from the Journalism and Media Study Center in the University of Hong Kong. The things I learned from JMSC were always ask for introductions, take care of others in the industry, and if you're already studying at JMSC, you're probably good enough, so start pitching already. We were en route to Fukushima and we were stopped by our, uh, by our colleagues, by our producers, managers and so on. Don't go, don't go, because something terrible happened. We don't exactly know what, but apparently there's been a major accident. Um, we actually insisted on going. Uh, yeah, we actually insisted on going. I shoot this story to reflect on, of course, the rich and poor gap and to remind our viewers of the problems existing in China's hukou, the household registration system, and also to remind our viewers of the toll China's urbanization has taken on these humble people. Well, I think uh, JMSC has a very unique position here because uh, it combines the professional skills and the reality in China and also the uh, journalistic ideals. It's a very good combination of the three, so it's very useful for the Chinese journalists uh, to study at JMSC. Well, I'm offered all these things at JMSC and uh, I'm trying to pass it on to my younger colleagues here. The JMSC really furthered my knowledge of uh, social media networks, digital journalism, and video, all three of which are becoming increasingly important in the reporting scene. Uh, now there's so much content being uploaded to social networks like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Vine, and it's my daily job to sort through this mass of information to try to, try to find the gems inside. And, you know, the JMSC really put me on the path to figuring out the ins and outs of social media and of digital journalism. When I arrived, I was a computer scientist. When I left, I was a data journalist. Since then, I've done all kinds of things in journalism. I worked for two years making interactives at the Associated Press. I covered the Arab Spring. I covered the Japanese uh, tsunami disaster. Uh, and then I started building software for journalists. I built a thing called Overview, which has been used by hundreds of journalists to mine huge volumes of documents for stories. I got to do four internships before my graduation, um, but it all added up to a great career um, and all the great experience. And I really love JMSC, I'm very proud of it.